Hey everyone, so I'm going to show you how I clean my brushes. I also just wanted to say in my last video, my natural uh, summer makeup tutorial, I think it's called, uh, which I just made, I added some more um, eyeshadow and also I used the high beam on my cheekbone and my inner corners. I also added the, um, the NYX lip cream, which I told you about. For brush cleaner, I use what's called Cinema Secrets. It's a professional brand, so I don't know if all of you can get it. And then in my kit, I just carry a little one. I carry 99% alcohol in a spray bottle. So my two dishes, I have one with some, just a little bit of brush cleaner in it, and one that I'm about to put some alcohol in it. Um, I'm gonna clean the ones that I think are really important, that are different for you to clean. And I'll see your eyelash curler. Um, I'm going to pour some alcohol into this other one. So I used a bit. This is just my powder brush. And I'm going to just dip it into the alcohol. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to just go back and forth to get all the product out. Like you can even swirl this one. And for the 99% alcohol, I use it to... Um, get everything out of my brushes. Clean off of that anymore. We'll do one more little dip just to make sure. And it's natural for some little hairs to fall out. Um, you might even occasionally get a long one, but if you're always getting really long hairs that fall out, um, it's getting up into what's called the ferrule of your brush and it's making it come unglued. So that's bad. That means your brush will probably die. Um, and I had a brush, I had a blush brush that did that. Just very lightly just dip this in the brush cleaner, just the ends of it, and just kind of work it through. And it'll take, it might take out some more. It's going to also disinfect it and cleanse the bristles better. And then I just kind of do this lightly just to get excess off and your brush is clean and then I lay them I usually have a towel but I only have a paper towel right now I'm gonna lay them just up here just I just lay them flat to dry overnight or for a while if you're in a hurry and you are doing um, a bunch of clients or uh, working on a film side or whatever you would just use 99% alcohol in between um, each person so this is my favorite MAC brush and is as you can see the bristles are right now not white because I used um, foundation on it I actually used the Revlon color stay on it uh, so you would actually think that it would stain the bristles it does not I'm gonna dip it in some alcohol not like I'm not going I'm not dipping it way up here I'm just dipping the ends and I'm gonna more go back and forth with this one I swirled a little bit. Your bigger brushes will naturally soak up a lot. See there's, I don't know if you can see it, there's little hairs right there. Those MAC brushes shed, well this one sheds a lot, um, which is completely normal, it's fine. Now it's white again, see? And I dip it into my brush cleaner, just a very light little a dip and you want to uh, clean it off quickly well not quickly but you just don't want it to soak right up into your brush this will also help take out anything that the alcohol may have missed and I'm just doing this to reshape it I shape it back to the, when it was little. It kind of looked like that when I bought it. So it was pretty little. And you want to try and not, not do what I just did and go over it. So, t like, touch it. There you go. And I'm going to leave that one to dry. The other ones I want to show you how to clean are mascara brush, your mascara combs. These are, I don't know why this camera doesn't focus, but okay. The ends of these, you can see this is black. And... I'm going to just wipe off that end because I know that doesn't really have anything because I haven't used it. 
And I just, all I did was wrap the towel around it and just kind of wiggle it and pinch it a bit. The plastic ones are a pain in the butt to clean, but so are the metal ones, but you have to do it. Now I'm going to take a Q-tip and to dip it in the alcohol. And I am really gonna get into those bristles. So that you can see, like I really wanna get into them and clean them. I'm sorry that this does not focus. It's not like the highest end camera. Okay, so it's pretty clean. I would still clean it more because you can't really see, but there is still stuff in there. But I just wanted to show you how to clean that. And then I also want to show you how to clean your eyelash curler. That's very important. Um, usually the rubber pieces come out in them. Mine does, and it's a pain in the butt to get back in. But I always take it out if it comes, like, your rubber piece will come out so I always take that out then I take um, a q-tip and dip it in alcohol and I literally go over the whole thing front and back and then into this crease where the sponge was and I have soaked my uh, my uh, q-tip with alcohol it's pretty darn soaked so you're, you do want to do that. You can use the spray alcohol for it. I will also use paper towel and some alcohol and just kind of wipe it down. Now for this rubber piece, which has, um, it does have eyeshadow on it. I don't know if you can really see. So I'm going to just stick it in my bowl and rub it around. Okay, so you take the piece out of the bowl and I'm just going to wipe it down. You can pull a little bit because it's just rubber. You could also just take a wet, uh, like a really Q-tip soaked in alcohol and just go over the last bits of it. So that that's that, and you can put it back together. You want eyeshadow brush? There's my eyeshadow brush filled with powder. The black is not powder; that is just the way the pink brush is. And. Just see how much color comes right out. That's only alcohol. And I'm just going in like a motion that's just that way and then that way. These ones I don't swirl. They're too, they're not, they're not too fragile, but they're just, they don't bend that way. So they just go back and forth is all I do. Okay, so this is clean now from alcohol. And I'm going to now use the brush cleaner on it. This is just what the brush actually looks like. It's got pink and black on it. Brush cleaner. Dipping the brush into the brush cleaner. And then just wiping it back and forth. It's pretty basic. Um, your bigger powder brushes, you can go in a swirl if you want to. But uh, with these ones, I just go back and forth. You can wipe your handle off if you'd like. I do that sometimes. And then that one's clean and can be dried. That was it for the brushes that I really wanted to show you. I'm gonna all I'm gonna go through and clean all my brushes right now. Um the mascara comb I am also gonna sorry <laughs> I'm also gonna go through and clean again because I didn't get all of it. I just wanted to show you quickly uh how to do it. And it does take a little effort even and I don't use waterproof makeup. The, for the 99% alcohol, um, you can get at your local uh, drugstore. I don't know what the best what aisle it would be in, but it's called Isopropyl uh, Alcohol, and it should say 99% alcohol. Some people use 70. I prefer 90. That's what I'm taught with, so that's what I use. And um, I will link what it's, I, how to spell isopropyl for you guys, and, um, yeah, I hope you learned how to clean your brushes from this if you haven't, if you don't know already, so I will talk to you guys later. Bye.